Hey, hello guys, how are you doing? I hope great. I'm Jimmy DGS91 here, and be welcome again to my Mega Man X2 100% walkthrough for SNS. So, in the previous video, we defeated all the 8 Robot Masters again, and now we discover who is behind the evil plans of the X Hunters. That is, by the way, that pesky Sigma that I, we thought we destroyed on the first Mega Man X game, but he's alive. So now, X will have to confront and face Sigma and try to defeat him once and for all. Will be X able to do it? Let's find out. Anyway, let's get to the video now. Alright folks, so here we are at the Robot Master selection screen, so let's go to the final stage of this game and try to defeat Sigma once and for all, so let's go to it. But first, I will show you something very interesting. You see why? But look to this place. Is not this place familiar to you? Yeah, it is the central computer stage when we defeated the Magnus and Tippet, remember? And actually, there's a very curious thing. I will load my save state again here to show you very, a very interesting thing. You can access the final stage going to the supposedly the final X Hunter stage, or <laughs> if you want to, you can go directly to the central computer stage. And yep, the final stage it is the indeed the central computer stage. So yeah, <laughs> very curious. Anyway, you know how to proceed on this level, so let's use your X Buster to destroy those barrier attackers along the way. Easily and try to not be caught by the security system by those light spots. But since our X Buster is now increased, we can destroy those barrier attackers very easily. I wait a little bit here to time our run to not be attacked by those security robots. For the usual, we have to wait to pass those installers without being crushed, but just use your good and old x Buster to take care of them very easily, and grab some health if you need it. Alright, let's pass through this last set of installers without dying. And now that's the room that supposedly we, we found on the previous... Uh, time that we was here, we found the... What is the name of that boss? Uh, that 3D sword, I can't remember the name just yet, but yeah. But we'll find something different here. Hmm, the doors are closed. And look, it's Sigma. With... Zero? Look who I found wandering around, Mega Man. Friend here has a small problem with you. It seems that you let him die, and he's not too happy about that. Ah, Sigma's reference to what happened on Mega Man X, the first game. <laughs> now I think it is time that he pays the favor. But that's not zero, that's just a cheap copy. But anyway, we have to find against him. Well, let's go. Wow. Aha! That's the true zero <laughs> that I know. Sigma, you should have studied the blueprint, the blueprints closer. There is only one zero. Yeah, sure thing, zero. Wait, zero. I know your secret. You were destined to follow me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe so, but I still don't like you. <laughs> Zero his good sense of humor. <laughs> Fine. If you will not follow me, then I watch you die. Once again. Oh, Sigma, you're so kind. And look, Zero is a little bit different. Zero! Yeah. One thing that I have to comment about Zero, that Zero... Zero's armor is a little bit different than you saw in the first Mega Man X game. He's quite improved. 
And also he has a new weapon behind his back that's called the Bean Saber. Or, <laughs> as commonly known by the Zero fans, the Z Saber. A very very powerful weapon. Keep in mind of that weapon for the further games of the Mega Man X series, but anyway. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mega Man X. The greenies will have to wait. We've got to defeat all the Mavericks, including Sigma. Oh, <laughs> really, Zero? I'll take out the main computer, and you follow Sigma. Let's go! Wait, Zero, why you not take Sigma and I take the main computer? Why the hardest things I always have to, <laughs> to be with me? <laughs> Alright, that's my destiny. Here it is, X. Sigma lies just ahead. And Zero will go to the main computer and we cannot follow him. As pretty usual, the hardest hardest things always X has to do. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, one thing that I have to comment about the Zero, I love the Zero stems on this game. It's very, very cool. I know you can barely heard it, but it's it's a very nice team. Anyway, let's go down and face Sigma once and for all. On this endless fall here. Finally. And here's Sigma. You are merely a buttersome insect, Mega Man X. It is about time that I crush you beneath my heel. Oh, Sigma, you are so kind as always. Alright, so I have to fight with Sigma now. So my first advice, just use your walls as your friend. Your wall is your best friend on this battle. To avoid Sigma's attacks. Just like that. And he'll do this attack. He's fought or fighting like Wolverine of X-Men, I might think. Because he has claws. Just keep doing this pattern to avoid his fireballs. That's not too that's very easy to dodge, by the way. Just avoid his attacks when he teleports and goes down. Yep, just like that. Okay, he's not too difficult to beat. Now he'll try to release his this attack now. When he becomes invulnerable. One more hit and he's dead. I tried to kill him with the Giga Crush. Since my Giga Crush power level is now up all the way and uh, feel it. So let's use it. Giga Crush to you, Sigma. Die. Sigma is destroyed. Hmm. Let's see. Oh no. Look what we have here. It's Sigma on his virus form. That's the true form of Sigma, by the way, folks. Revealed here on Mega Man X2. So. Since we are good, still good in health here, and I don't want to spare a sub tank right now, let's switch to the strike chain because the strike chain is actually the weakness of this virus form of Sigma. And when I need, I will f uh, fill up my health with one sub tank and try to use the Shoryuki on him. Basically, that's the strategy for this section. Because Sigma is so annoying here, you see why? Yeah, just like that. And he always try to release it, use some enemies. That's very annoying. But try to hit him with some hit of the strike chain. That's his weakness. And yeah, Sigma has a lot of health here, so be careful of that. Eventually, those enemies will try to uh, leave health to you, or something like that. Okay, and now I will use a sub tank. Oh. Fuck, <laughs> my health is not, is not all the way up, so yeah, I have to continue using the strike chain. I can use the Shoryuken right now. But like I said before, just keep spinning him with the strike chain, and he'll be down very easily if you're careful enough. 
You can spare off your sub tanks for this battle. Because Sigma is annoying, but not difficult at the previous encounter that we did with him. Okay. It's not that hard if you know the pattern, how to do. Just keep one of those Tyrannos, Screevers, Fishermen, and oh, Fisherans that appear all over the place here. But just keep using the strike chain. It's your best friend here. And she will have an opportunity to use the Shoryuken. And Sigma will be down pretty quickly. As you can see, Sigma's colors is changing. Meaning that he's being low and low in health. I think that's a good opportunity to use the Shoryuken. Kill him once and for all. So let's do it. Just like that! Yes! What do you think about this, Sigma? Just die, your little virus bastard. Yet, Sigma, it's very easy if you know how to use the Shoryuken effectively against him. And as per usual, everything explodes. But Sigma has his last words. Mega Man X, I have lost to you again. Each defeat only makes me stronger and serves to bring you closer to your ultimate doom. And he's not talking about the game, by the way. <laughs> but something is not right. I don't quite understand. Why did Zero? He is the last of the Doctor's creations. Of which doctor he's talking about? Dr. King? Dr. Light? Or another doctor? Well, to not spoil anything, I'll leave this question up and not answer it right now. Yep, yeah, just die, Sigma. I think. So that's officially the ending of Mega Man X2, folks. So let's see the final scenes here. Of course, the entire stage is exploding and X has to escape. And finally, the final story. The sky is getting brighter, meaning that peace has come. And then there is Zero, an X, gazing at the ocean. So let's read that story. Joined by his friend Zero, Megami X gazed out over the sea. Sigma has once again been destroyed. But X wonders if the fighting will truly end. Was Dr. Light's dream of a world in which Reploids and humans live together and peace merely a dream? The price of peace is often high, X thinks to himself. I think Capcom forgot to put the quotes here, but Anyway, who or what must be sacrificed for it to become reality? And when the time comes, will he be able to do it? Hmm, that's an interesting question. The future holds the answers. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, alright folks, so that's officially the end of Mega Man X2. 
One thing that I forgot to mention in my battle uh, uh, before Sigma when he counters the Copy Zero or the Copy at Zero, that Black Zero. If you did not collect all the Zero's parts before when you have to fight with the X Hunters on the 8 Robot Master Estates, at the end you have to fight with Zero at like, uh, that time. So yeah, if you're following my 100% walkthrough strictly, you don't have to fight with Zero, but if you don't, I'll leave a link here on the description below just to show, show you guys the fight between X and Zero. A very tough fight by the way, because Zero it's very strong. And as pretty usual you see the list of enemies of the game here, but regardless, let me comment about this game. Well, I absolutely love this game. It's a nice sequel of the first Mega Man X. I can clearly see, clearly see that this game had some improvements according to the first game. Like the dash ability since the beginning, the design of the places and the stages are well designed as well, and I like the the story of this game. According to which uh, act you do here, you can change your story through the game. That's very cool. Like this final battle with Zero, if you did not collect all the the Zero's parts on the, the confrontation with the X Hunters. But yeah, this game is pretty good, I absolutely love it. It's quite more challenging than the first Mega Man X game, in my opinion. At least here on the last stage, I, f I found them much, much more difficult, but this game is very good. It's a nice sequel to the first Mega Man X series. And as you can see here, the power and speed of Zero and Mega Man X are unknown. And I think that RP means Reploid. I don't know. So that's the final screen of the game, folks, so I want to say thank you of, of you that are watching this walkthrough. I really hope that this walkthrough uh, really helped you to pass through this game, and if you were watching this walkthrough only for fun or for entertainment purposes, I hope that this walkthrough had some fun as well, because I had a lot of fun replaying this game again and showing everything that I know about this game so thank you guys for watching and i see you guys on my next video the game i will play next i'm not pretty sure what game i will play next because i have a few games here in mind but shortly you will know shortly you will know or i can post uh, another random gameplay video i honestly don't know but i will try to post something Anyways, I want to say thank you for watching, for commenting, for liking the videos of this walkthrough. Those uh, acts are very appreciated by myself. So yeah, uh, until next time, so I'll see you guys on my next video. I'm JimmyGGS91 here, and i see you guys next time. Take care, my friends.